Welcome to another LIST AV Productions live stream here on YouTube. Tonight, live from Marauder Stadium, we have an exciting matchup here as the Hebron Hawks take on the district leaders in, Mar in, in Marcus, home of, the Mara home of the Marauders. So, Anthony, what do you think will be uh, keys to tonight's game? Well, I think that the key of tonight's game will have to be <clears throat> with our two um, dynamic players on the on Hebron's side for them to win um, with John Williams, an attacker, and Caleb Meyer, midfield. Uh, they both play very good positions. Um, they both play very good together as one cohesive unit. And I think if they, these two players, as well the other, the whole team, um, plays good tonight, then they have a chance of winning this game. All right, what about for Marcus? What, what do they need to do to win tonight? I would say with Marcus um, – I would just say that they just play their same type of soccer, their same type of football, um, because they're one, they're number one in district right now, and if they lose this game, it may not cause a big mess up for them right. tonight, but I think they just got to play their same confident soccer today. Um, the last game they played, they did lose to Irving Nimitz. Um, it wasn't a tough loss, but it did hurt them just a little bit. Just Luckily, it wasn't a district loss, but... I think if they just play at their potential, their highest potential, then they have a chance to win this game. So you think they'll they'll be looking, they'll be hungry for another win tonight? Absolutely, absolutely. Well, Hebron's got a tough task as he as Marcus holds one of the strongest offenses in the district. Absolutely, talking about that strong offense, Thomas Pundi Pundeka in is second in district in goals. I mean, every time he gets gets close to the goal, the ball just magically just goes in. As well as um, Matt Hufferman, um, second in assists. I mean, every time he passes that ball to someone, um, 
he just creates goals for them all right. the time. It should be a it should be a great match nonetheless. Absolutely. And we're, we're about to get started here, folks. As both teams take the field, as Marcus, uh, Marcus heads the field first. So, Marcus will be defending the left side of the field, and Hebron will be defending the right side of the field. So, what are your predictions for tonight's game? I'll be honest. I believe Marcus is going to blow him out. How? By how much? Uh, I would say by by three. Ooh, that's a bold prediction there. I mean, Marcus has, I mean, they're number one in district. Yeah. So, I mean, they have a great team. A great offense, too. Absolutely. All right. It looks like we're about to get this match going. As number 11, Ta uh, Tomas P Pondeca in the midfield. And we are off. Gall crosses it over to the field where no one is at and out of bounds. You be ready to pass it in. Number 15, Garrett Grant Brantley tosses it over to number to Jack Prather. Fumbles, loses the ball for a bit. Marcus possession, but Heber does get it back. Brantley with the ball. Swings it over to his gold tender. Number Matthew Hoffman dishes it out to mid to the field. Good header. Right. Both teams playing very antsy so far. As Brantley gets the get, picks up the ball and is ready to top pass it in. Passes it over. Or seems like Harry on was trying to head it over, but just missed. Nonetheless, Hebron still retains possession. Brantley with the ball dishes it over to number six, Matthew Bowie, who then loses possession. Pondeca with the ball, crossing upfield. Now, Castro with the ball. Pondeca tries to retain possession, but it goes out of bounds. Both teams are playing really good defense. Well, yes, they, they both are. As Marcus will get the corner. Peeler by the dish it out, try to create an earth here with the ball, try to make a play. 18, Prather with the ball. As Marcus retains that dish it, number six, dishes it out, Reader dishes it out, but back, Braden back for Hebron there to retain it. Bryce Lane with the ball. Swings it out to the ultimate to no one, but there's a lead on it, but the Lloyd is there just to clear it out. But he been <laughs> now Evans with the ball. Swings it back over to his goalkeeper, Lloyd. Swing Lloyd swings it back over to Evans. Evans swings it back to Lloyd. Lloyd trying to find an open person, clears it downfield. But as Marcus retains possession, Reeder with the ball passes it up to Hefferman. Now Rebel with the ball and Hoffman there to make the save again. If Hoffman keeps making these saves, it's going to be really hard for Marcus to score. Yeah, he's going to have to make a few saves tonight. Hoffman clears it out and pray they're looking to make a play, but it's not going to happen. As Lloyd's already there. Rolls it over to Procassi. Procassi back to Lloyd. Swings it back to Soldner. Soldner looking to make a play. Soldner to uh, Soldner to Hefferman. Hefferman back to Lloyd. Lloyd to Evans. Looking off. He's also looking to make a play, and he dishes it off to. Back to Soldner. Pondeca with the ball. Good move by Pondeca there. He's still with the ball. Pondeca is already causing a bit of havoc for Hebron tonight. Now Rebel with the ball. Back to Castro. 
to Procassi. Good clear by Hebron, but a foul has been ruled. Appears to be on Hebron, first foul of the night. Talking a little bit about Marcus Soccer, I believe that if Pendeca has a really good game tonight, they're going to be able to win this game because he has, he's able to crisscross by defenders. Right. He's able to get through the tight, tight spots right. and easily get past people. Well, swings into the box, but ha Hoffman there again to make a good save. But yeah, Pendeca's already causing havoc for Hebron as he's already gotten a scoring chance and almost got another one earlier. This goal passes it over to Lloyd. Lloyd looking to make a play. Trying to direct traffic. It clears it out to number 12, Castro. And he swings it over to Pondeca. Mark is looking for a foul. I don't believe they're going to get it. But nonetheless, cleared out by Hebron. Almost a, almost yet another scoring chance for Pondeca. Pondeca already causing havoc. Now Galt rebel with the ball, but no. Hebron clears it out and it is... Oh, my apologies. Marcus turned it over, so it's Hebron's ball now. Appears to be number three. Hebron playing one of their... Very good soccer right now. Their their defense the defense has been a little bit iffy so far as Pundeka has already gotten behind them a few times. Absolutely. But Hoffman there make make already made three good saves tonight. As Marcus already back on the counter attack, Procrasi with the ball dishes it off to Castro. Castro looking to make a play to number oh, it's blocked out by Hebron Prather with the block. It's number four. It's number. Four. 14, AJ Atkinson ready to dish it out. Oh, my apologies. Number 15, Procassi dish it out to Pondeca. Good, good challenge there by Meyer. But Marcus already back on the counter attack. But Lucas George there with the ball dishes it off to a waiting defender, Rebel. As Mark Marcus still on the attack, Castro with the ball, looking to make a play, looking to dish it off to somebody but deflected out of bounds by Hebron. It seems like with Hebron, they're playing a 2-3 defense on the field, trying to at least box um, the opponent out. Right, right. As Procrasi right there dishes it off to Pondeca, who's already been Marcus's star of the game so far. Uh, whistle blown there by the referee. Not quite sure what that was. None the but nonetheless, it's Hebron's ball. Grant. Grant Bartley ready to pass it in. For the action to get going. Lobs it over to Prather. Tries to make a play, but heads it out of bounds. So it'll be Marcus Ball. Goes to the backdrop. Appears to be number 15 Procassi there to get it. Procassi ready to get play going again. Looking for a target to pass to. Can't find one, but finds one eventually with Castro Good getting the dish. ball. Good challenge there from number 18 Prather. Pray they're on the counter, but just knocked out of bounds by by Evans. But nonetheless, still he runs ball. As Bart Bartley ready to dish it in. Pray there with a not good first touch, and he loses the ball. And Pondeca with the ball, ready to make a play, but good challenge there by number 15, Bartley. Strips the ball away from him, but Marcus back on the counter. Hebron defends it, but and Marcus retains possession. Four, uh, 12 with the ball. 
can't get there in time, but Lucas George knocks it out of bounds. Marcus Ball. Procrasti ready to throw it in to awaiting Castro. Looking to make a play out of something. Nice. Trapped in the box, and it will be a corner for Marcus. Their second corner of the night. That's the hard thing about being in the corner. I mean, you're trapped. You either got the out of bounds, or you can make a move to get it between their legs and wrap yourself around them. Excuse me, it's not a corner, just a pass in. But yeah, good point still. You try to not turn the ball over, try to make a play. As you, as 14, uh, as Atkinson tried to swing into the box, see if someone was open but no one was there now Hoffman with the ball for Hebron looks like he's ready to clear this one away Seems to a waiting Hawk and it will be 50. that's it pray there with the ball but just loses it but Bartley being chased by Pondeca. Great, just passing. Retains, Great just, passing by Hebron. Just retains possession. But not a good pass there, just as you said, as Procrasti was waiting for that one, intercepts it. And uh, Procrasti with the ball again. Good challenge there by Hebron to knock it away. But Marcus, but actually, excuse me, Prather for Hebron on the, with the, on the ball. Marcus heads it away. Number 11, John Williams knocks it away back. Marcus is a fight for the ball. Hebron gets it back. Looking to make an opportunity and will not get one. Good def close. good challenge there by Marcus as Lloyd doesn't have to worry. As he picks up the ball looking to make another play. That's a good tackle there by Marcus. As 18, Evans has the ball, swings it back over to Lloyd. Lloyd passes it over to number... Don't know what number that is, but uh, <laughs> Castro swings it back to his man. Uh, the defender will let Lloyd make the ball. Pray they're ready with the header, but heads it out of bounds. So it will be Marcus Ball. Great passing from both teams, from Marcus and from Hebron. But Marcus with the aggressive defense so far, causing a little bit of turnover problems for Hebron. As Lloyd is set to clear this one, actually, no, dishes it off to the shoulder. But number six, Reeler with the ball. Back to Evans. Swings it back over to number 12. So number 14, Atkinson. Back over to Evans. Good challenge there by Hebron, but Castro retains possession. It'll be still Marcus Ball. Marcus dominating on the possession so far. Absolutely. Had the ball for the long time. Hebron hasn't had a good chance to make a good scoring chance. Absolutely, and I would agree with on with Marcus on the offensive and defensive side. They've both, both on both sides. They've done very well. Ooh, good move by Pondeca to get the ball, forcing Lucas to make a choice, make a challenge. Good oh, move. good move by Pondeca. Swings it in. 14 just misses the net. Ooh, that is a tough shot. Atkinson, good space. Just couldn't get the shot in. So close. So That's close a, by Pondeca. Getting out of that corner that was and a, able to make a play. That was a good move by Pondeca there to set up a chance, but Atkinson just couldn't, couldn't knock it in. Nonetheless, it'll be Hebron Ball. Hoffman ready to clear it out. Does his little ritual, trying to make, trying to set up direct traffic. Looking to see what the best option will be. Is he set? Around 25 minutes left in the half. Swings it over back to Prather, who is ready to number 10. Oh, good dish pass as number seven, Alex Guzlow, was make, ready to make a play, but Lloyd beat him to it. Evans back to give it back to Lloyd. Lloyd swings it over to uh, number 11, John Williams. It was, I believe it was deflected as nonetheless Williams tried to make an opportunity, but just no one was there. No one home except for Marcus defender. Now Marcus back on the counter. Swings it over to Atkinson. 
Atkinson swing, swings it over. Lucas Short's ready to make a play, does so. And Hart, Bartley ready to set up another Hebron counter. Good move to get the ball back to him. This Marcus defense has been all over the place. It is completely shut Hebron down so far. Yeah, they can't. They just can't make a play. Absolutely, have not. Have only had one good scoring chance so far tonight. If Hebron, if Hebron wants to win, they got to get more scoring chances. These passes by Marcus, these little short passes are the key to them for them to, to win this game. Almost a risky pass there as a Hebron defender was waiting on it. Nonetheless, Lloyd clears it out. Pondeco there. And it'll be a foul on Hebron. Uh, can, couldn't catch the push in the back by, I believe, number 10, Mar Max Carrion. And Marcus will be awarded a free kick. Evans swings it over to uh, Carbs. Carbs to Reeler. Reeler to Ponde uh, Pondeca. Pondeca ready to make him. Pondeca's been on the move tonight. He even shuts down that opportunity, but headed back in. Headed back. Headed back again. It's a header party right now. As Carrion tries to clear it. Pray they're there waiting. Oh, not pray there. Excuse me. Matthews there waiting. Nonetheless, Marcus back on the counter. As Carbs with the ball. Good, Good move, move by Carbs. Passes it over to Atkinson. Atkinson back to Carbs. Carbs to Castro. Castro to Pondeca. Oh. Marcus getting these good chances so far tonight. Great ball movement by the Marauders. Atkinson back. Swings it in. Oh, that looked like a good shot at first, but Hoffman there to make the save. Hoffman has been a rock so far tonight. Great setting by the Marcus Marauders in that short little snippet of action. Right. Marcus getting some pretty good offensive opportunities as we say that as Reeler already on the counter for Marcus dishes it off not not a great pass but still almost does something with it it's cards with the ball oh <laughs> look at the replay on the last offensive opportunity Lloyd back dishes it back over to Solder Solder back to Lloyd Lloyd trying to direct traffic, trying to set his player up. As 15 pro Cassidy there, back to Evans. Back to Lloyd, who's done a lot of passing tonight. Solder with the ball, swings it back over to number 14, uh, Atkinson. Atkinson, to, um, ooh, good move there by, by pro Cassidy. Pro Cassidy back to Castro, to Atkinson. Good move there to get past the... Get some space from the defender. Procrasti trying to run to the ball, but Lucas George will beat them first, and it will be Mark uh, Hebron ball. Hebron just can't get on as they turn the ball over yet again. Reeler with the ball. Dishes. Oh, try to get it to, I believe, Solder. Nonetheless, Marcus back on the counterattack. Solder looking to make a play. Actually, that's not Solder, but Procrasti there back. Dishes it to a waiting Hebron defender, number 15, Bartley. Marcus heads it back. Hebron just can't seem to get out of their zone tonight as they seem, as with every defensive opportunity, Marcus just keeps head, heads it back in to start another counterattack. It's Bartley back. Swings it over to a waiting Hoffman who is there to make the easy, easy save. Hoffman trying to direct traffic. Clears it out of the box. It's an interesting little pass there. But Bowie with the ball back. And Mark Hebron will get a will get a free kick here. Caught John Williams got, got the foul call. Or actually call, uh, caused the foul. I guess when you're Number one in district just be really physical. You got yeah, that physical defense can wear down an opponent, and it's starting to wear down on this Hebron team here tonight. As Williams, as Williams is ready to make make the most out of the set piece. 
Trying to see what the best play will be. Waiting for the ref, and he swings it in. And it, oh, Ooh. it's a, oh, almost another, almost a Hebron goal there. But luckily Lloyd there to make the save. That was almost scary for Marcus. I don't know what Marcus would do if they, if Hebron got a goal on them. I know, Marcus with the, playing better overall right now. But imagine them being down 1-0. Nonetheless, they keep out, they keep that possession out. As Hebron looking to start another counterattack, but won't do so. As Gall with the ball swings it over to a waiting Hoffman. Trying to already upstarting this Hebron counterattack. Prather, uh, not Prather, excuse me. Matthews with the ball. Turns it over to a Pon Pondeca with the ball again. Pondeca making moves. Back to Gall. Oh, Gall in the box. Just defended out. Good play there. By, I believe, number eight, Meyer. Nonetheless, Hebron, Hebron turns it over in midfield. As, ooh, seemed to hit him in the face there. Wasn't ready for that one. But it will be Marcus Ball as George knocks it out. Number six swings it out to uh, to Rebel. Rebel bringing it upfield. Oh, seems miscommunication there for Marcus. Almost a good scoring chance. Number seven. Uh, Hefferman trying to cause a turnover. Does so. Rebel with the ball. Looking to start another counterattack. Hefferman. Swings it over to Reeler. Turns it over. But Hebron turns it over right back. As Marcus does the same thing. Swings as number eight. Oh, another chance. With, oh, just missed the net. Matthews had a good chance. Just couldn't bury the pie. Let's get a... Floyd there ready to set up the play. You see here, Mark. Matthews just missed the net. Couldn't quite get his footing down. But as now Lloyd ready to set the play up. Clears it out to a waiting Hebron Hawk. But Rebel ready there. Pondeca already on the counter. Sprinting off the field. Getting past three defenders. Can he finish? Oh, he oh. just misses. Oh, that would have been a great play if he could finish. Wow. Let's take a look at that replay real That's quick. That's a Wow. There's Pondeca here. Great move getting past three, two defenders there. Out sprints Lucas George there, the captain, and had a clear shot and just missed. Barely. Just barely. Could have been almost 1-0 for Hebron, uh, for Marcus. And sometimes you just have to take it in and just take the chance of scoring instead of just passing it up. Right. Seemed like he didn't quite get the touch there right. But nonetheless, Marcus get charged for a foul. And number... Number six, Bowie, ready to set this free kick up. Swings it over to a waiting Beck. And he will not get there. That's a not not a good play there by Hebron. On a chance to get another to get a scoring chance. Just turns the ball over. I gotta say with Hebron, um, you just have to be careful because that was an almost another scoring chance. Right. The the defense has not played so good so far. The Pondeca has made mince meat of their defense so far tonight. And will look to continue to do so keep for the entire night. As, as uh, Hefferman trying to get a steal. Solder back to Rebel, who could, d clears it out. Lucas George chests it back over. Meyer back to get the ball to. Uh, uh, but nonetheless. Meyer hit with a foul with a push in the back. It will be Marcus Ball. Clean game so far. No one has been hit with cards just yet. Lloyd clears it out to a waiting Bartley. What looking to make a play. But good 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 defense there by Marcus as they set up another counterattack. Reader with the ball to Percassi. To Solder. Ooh, looks like he'd be in trouble here. 
Just gets away from it. Dishes it back to his goalkeeper for safety. Back to Evans. Oh, excuse me. Back to Rebel. Rebel dishing up field. Good Pondek move. Pondeka back with the ball. He's been a menace tonight. But passes it up to Castro. Back to Hefferman. Now Reader with the ball. Back to Solder. Pondeka back with the ball again. Back to Solder. Yeah, if you see, they're trying to trap Pendeka so that way he doesn't get the ball. It seems like they know he's going to score on him. Right. Ooh, good dish there by Solder, but just ruled off sides. Wow, that could have been a good opportunity, but goal was just a little too antsy there. It will be Hebron ball. Hebron, if Hebron has any chance, they got to. Their defense has to has to straighten up soon, or else it'll be game over for them. Hebron clears it back out. Morgan's with a header. Gall rebel with the header. Pondeka one with the ball again. Good play there by Bowie to strip the ball from him. But nonetheless, they still turn it over. Pondeka. Oh nope, a foul on Marcus. They appear to trip Bowie on that last play. That aggressive Marcus defense getting a little bit of a getting a little antsy here, getting getting a little foul trouble right now. Both teams playing very very physical, very physical defense as we see right here. Seems to be uh, Pondeca. Oh no, excuse me, uh, Castro that tripped up Bowie there, which caused the foul. We're back to the live action as Galt Rebel swings it back out to awaiting Lucas George. Pondeca tried to make a challenge, wasn't there for it. But uh, Reader with the ball. It'll be Hebron ball now. Barley ready to throw it in. Around 12 minutes left in the half. Hebron trying to make something out of nothing. Lucas George back to back to Lane. Swings it over to nobody as Lloyd's ready to make the Ready to make the stop there. Trying to set up a play here. Very surprised it's only nil-nil. Sfinas Marcus has had a lot of opportunity so far. Lucas there ready to head it away. Pondeka try to make the challenge. Pondeka, will he, he does not get the ball away. Almost did though. Matthews there ready. Tangled up, and it will be another Marcus foul. Marcus not too happy with that one. Mm -hmm. Not at all. I thought, I, thought, I thought it was pretty even. Got, they both got tangled up trying to make a play. But nonetheless, Hebron with, awarded another free kick. As Meyer will look to make something. One thing with both of these teams, the midfielders have done a very good job whenever it's hectic and next... When it's very very hectic, um, next to the goalkeeper, uh, they always got it. They always kick it back to the to the midfielders, and right. it's just a safe spot for them. Yeah, this battle, there's a there's going there's a big battle in the middle of the park right now, and it's it's been pretty close. But Mar I said to say Marcus has been winning that battle as Meyer swings it into the box, and it will be a pass, and I believe for Hebron, as I believe Rebel headed headed out of bounds. But I could be wrong here. Could be something else. It will indeed be a pass in as carry on. Oh, excuse me. I'm, I apologize yet again. It is a corner kick for Hebron. Their first of the night. As carry on looks to hopefully get Hebron on the board. As Lucas there ready to make a play. But a good d defensive stop by Marcus. And just off to the side. Almost there for another go for a, a Hebron goal there. But just off target. Only Heber Hebron's first shot of the game just comes off target. Is Lloyd ready, ready to make a play? But I have to say, I mean, are we surprised at anything? I mean, again, it is Marcus against Hebron, one of the greatest rivalries in sports yeah. history. This is a big rivalry in both in all of these sports in football, basketball. We, I mean, we we covered the Marcus uh, Hebron basketball game, which went down to the wire, as Marcus ready to set up a counterattack. Pondeca ready to dribble it up the field. 
looking for an open man, but he'll just take it himself. Doesn't lose the ball. Goat gives it back to Gall, who has number seven, Hefferman waiting, but he even just gets it out of there. But as we were saying, oh, sorry, I apologize. Marcus back on the counter again. Gall with the ball. It's Procassi with it. Shinazi. And, oh, just headed away. Pondeka though, ready, but just couldn't get the touch down. But Marcus retains possession as Hebron causes a turnover. Prather on the counterattack. Good tackle there by Marcus as he, they shut down the Hebron counterattack. But as you were saying, this Marcus Hebron rivalry in all sports both goes down to the wire usually every time, no matter what sport it is. And I believe maybe we'll get the same thing here tonight with a good with a good, with a good soccer match. Absolutely. Between two really good teams. As Braden Beck ready to pass it in. Pass it into the box. He just headed away by Marcus. Uh, oh, good block there by Marcus. Couldn't quite get a read on who it was. As Marcus looked to set up a counter. And has ruled a foul on Hebron. Marcus doesn't have time to wait. They're ready to they're ready to score now. Pondeka with the ball. Good move there to cross up Bartley. He has all this space. What will he do with it? Pondeka dishes it out to looked like he wanted to dish it to um, to Solder there, but with no one no one home. Nonetheless, back to Procassi. As Rebel look looked like he almost made a play, but he would not get there in time. Yeah, like we've been saying about Pendeca, I mean, if you look at this game, he's being patient. He's not rushing anything. Right. He's letting the game come to him. And it's proven it's proven good results for him as he's had multiple scoring opportunities. Yet he hasn't been able to make it yet. But I believe if he continues playing his game, he will he will eventually get on get Marcus on the board, get this home get this home crowd behind them. Absolutely. And I mean, going off that, um, he's, he's, given, he's given players plenty of opportunities, but I feel, like some, I feel like that he needs to take matters in, into his own hands. Right. As we've seen, he's been, he's been able to cross up the defenders with ease, like at, you know, with no problems at all. As Marcus ready to set up another counter, uh, poor Cassie with the ball back to Reeler. Now back to Gall. Back to Gaul, uh, Rebel. Trying to make a play. And just gets past the defender. Good play there by Gall as he looks to take it up the field. And just loses the ball. But Marcus, always ready, gets back on the counter. Prather dishes it back out to a waiting soldier. Swings it over to Evans. Back to Procassi. To Pondeca. Back to Reeler. Back to Pondeca. Swings it in. It's just oh. off the post. But will they get it? They will not. Oh. Wow. Another missed opportunity there as Pondeca nailed it off the post. And Reeler could not get it in. Wow. Still Marcus Ball, however. As Reeler passes it back out. Let's look back at this. Almost, um, almost another Marcus almost goal there. Pondeca just off the right post. And Reeler, or not, excuse me, not Reeler. Hefferman there with a chance to finish and just couldn't do it. As Hebron, Gazzola ready to, and ooh, just off the mark there. Gall with the good defend, a good def defensive play there. I mean, like we said, uh, Pondeca taking it into his own hands. Great <laughs> opportunity yet got missed but then again Marcus had another opportunity again but then the smart goalie just kicked it out kicked right. it out so Hefferman had a great chance there as uh seems uh Marcus tripped up there goal goal was trip up tripped up oh a yellow dished out to Bowie his first of the night first first card of the night dished off to Bowie as he will be subbed off in favor, if we can get the number on his back. Unless, 
for number nine, uh, Joshua Matthews. Yeah, not a good play there with almost five minutes left in the half. Marcus swings it into the box. Gall with the ball and uh, Rebel with the ball. Just missed. Just missed. And it'll be another Hebron Hoffman with another chance to make a play. Marcus has been very aggressive on the attack tonight. Very absolutely, absolutely. I completely agree with that. But they're making Hofferman think and move tonight. Let's go back at this play as Rebel just off target. Not a good didn't have a lot of space for that, but you know, just throw it on net if you can. Like if you th if you feel like you can hit it, just throw it on net, see what happens. Especially when you're when you've been the main aggressor tonight and Marcus has. Or even just try to make a play for someone. Right. Bounce off the post, bounce off somebody, you know. You don't know what could happen. As Pondeca, oh, it will be out on Hebron. Procrasti there to ready to dish it off to awaiting Marcus Marauder. Procrasti back. Ooh, kind of a weak pass there, but nonetheless gets back there. Rebel with the bat with the pass. Knocked out by John Williams. Hebron ball. Uh Marcus Ball. Procrasti ready to dish it off to a open Marauder. This is back off to Evans, who will swing it back to Lloyd. Around on the 15-yard line. Lloyd clears it out to uh, open and Pondeca open in space. He can create another chance for Marcus. Try to get him on the board. Lucas there with some good defense there. Pondeca slips. Pondeca still with the ball. Pondeca waiting. Pondeca gets past Lucas. Just tripped up there. But Marcus, will they get on? They will not get on the board with this chance. But maybe swings it on net and just yet again off target. Wow. Marcus with some good chance. Some good chances right now, but just cannot finish it. Let's look back on this. So a shot here as uh appears to be number fifth uh number fifteen Procrasti there tried to shoot it on net, but just didn't get it. Hofferman clears it out. Pondeca there to clear, swing it back out to to waiting Hebron Hawk. As Prather with a ball, with the ball, but just could not get that first touch in. It'll be out of bounds. Marcus Ball with 2:30 left in the first half. The thing with Marcus is they have, they've had so many opportunities to make a goal, yet they've missed multiple times. But the advantage that they have, as we're looking at two minutes left on the clock, the thing that. Marcus has is that they've taken opportunities away from Hebron because Hebron apparently is moving a little too slow to to get the ball from the defenders. Right, Hebron has not had many opportunities tonight, and when they've had, they've been some pretty pretty good opportunities. As number five Reeler looking to look to make a play, but nonetheless, it'll be Marcus Ball around the 15 yard line because he's looking for an open man to dish it off to. M minute 50 left in this first. As he gives it to Gall to make a play. Knocked out. Oh, no. Kept in. Oh, no. It will be knocked out. Solder there. Uh, not Solder. Uh, Beck there with the defense. And he'll throw it off to Reeler. Reeler near the corner. Gall in the corner. Knocked out by Carrion. Trying to make a case for it to be Hebron Ball. Will not win that case. Let's see if Marcus is going to be able to score with... Close to a minute left on the clock. They have a they have a good corner chance here as Castro will take the corner. Pondeca, interestingly, not in the box. Let's see what they'll do with it. As Castro swings it into the box, it's headed on net just off yet again. Marcus cannot cannot seem to finish off with a minute left in the first half. Still nil nil. Let's take a look so, at this replay as he kicks it. Ooh. I mean, it's so close Solder, every single time. Solder there almost had a good chance with it. And Hoffman dribbles up the ball back to the box with 40 seconds left. But Look. like you said, I mean, I agree if Pendeca was in the box, I feel like he, they would have a high chance of right. scoring. Pendeca, super athletic, can make a play. Half, half a minute left. Hoffman just dishes it out of bounds. Marcus with one last opportunity to make an offensive push. Don't seem to be moving with urgency, though, with 20 seconds left on the clock. 
Procrasti there to dish it off to Pondeca, the, the main star of the first half. Ooh, good move there by Pondeca to cross up Lucas George. Realizing there's not a lot of time left. They, He's looking to score. They're, look, they're looking to score here as he swings on net, but Hoffman there to make the save, and that will be the first half. I feel pretty one-sided first half, in my opinion, as Marcus appeared to be the main aggressors in there that first half. Let's look at this last op offensive opportunity here. Marcus try to get a try to get a goal here, but Hoffman there ready to make a save. His sixth of the night. And we head to intermission with the score here. Marcus zero, Hebron zero. You're watching LISD Soccer here live on LISD AV Productions.
back to LSU Soccer here on the LIC AV Productions Network here on YouTube. So far, pretty one-sided match in my in our opinion as market as it's tied up nil-nil, but Marcus has been extremely aggressive on the on the on the uh, attacking four. So Anthony, what do you have some, what are your thoughts on the first half? I mean, like we said, I mean it's been very nil both sides. I mean, both teams have been playing really good defense, really good offense. I mean, the midfielders have have been that safe spot for them. The goalkeepers on both teams have just been playing their best soccer today. Spe Absolutely, especially Hoffman already had six saves here tonight. As the defense wasn't hasn't really helped them out here tonight, but nonetheless, as we're ready to get the second half started. And the thing is, like with our, with with the prediction of. Marcus winning three to nothing, at least in the first half. I mean, that hasn't been it, but Hebron has been holding their own. Yeah, Absolutely. Good. Right. As Matthew's here to ready to kick off the second half, that three nil that three nil uh prediction looks more like a hot take at this point. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> but you never know with um Pandeka. I mean yeah, Pond yeah, Pondeka can surely change the face of a game in an instant. As they're just, they're just waiting on the ref's whistle here. To signal them to go. Bowie looking around, looking for, uh, Matt, excuse me, Matthews wait, looking around uh, for the whistle. And here, here we go. Hebron on the attacking fort already just clears it out to um, waiting Marcus Defender. Uh, yeah, Marcus clears it out. Pondeca there on the ball. And. Ooh, Gall just, uh, Rebel just missed the header. And Hebron looking a little aggressive here, but Marcus clears it out anyway. Pondeca after the ball. So is the Hebron defender, Lane. And it will be, I believe, a Marcus foul here. Great speed and agility by Pondeca. Right. He got past him really, really fast. P Pondeca has been all over the field tonight. He's causing... Massive havoc for this Hebron defense, but to to Hebron's credit, they haven't they haven't let him score despite the good opportunities he's had. As Mark Hebron clears it out, but Priela ready there to get it as Hoffman waiting for the ball makes a routine easy save, and he's looked to start the play up again. Clears it out, and it will be fall to a Marcus. Uh, looks like oh, party down there, and. Falls to Reeler. This is it off to Rebel. To Reeler. The other Reeler. Back to Gall. Almost a great counterattack. Gall. Ooh, Marcus on that good counterattack. But ju the pass just a little long there as Hoffman has to die for it as, as Lane was protecting the ball. Good, good teamwork there. As Hoffman looks to set up another play. And Breck with the ball cleared out by Solder. Back ready to make the pass in. Dishes it off to a to a waiting Marcus Marauder. Good long kick. Good yeah, good clear. Pondeca on the ball, ready to try to make a play. Reeler try to make a play as well as Hebron trying to start up a little counter attack. Uh, trying to start a little attack here, but will not go anywhere. Marcus looking for a handball there. It almost looked like it, but nonetheless, Beck with the ball dishes it off to Prather, who who gives it back to Lucas George. Pass behind his his part his teammate, and it looks like Matthews is screaming up the field, looking to start another offensive opportunity, but will not get it as Marcus on now on the counterattack. Excuse me, now Hebron on the counterattack as they just cause another turnover. Hebron swings into the box. Ooh, as Matthews, can he finish? He cannot get the pie in the oven. Another missed opportunity for Hebron. So close. Only their second shot on net tonight. Actually, their third shot on net as Matthews looked to make a play. Just couldn't get there. As Let's he look at this replay. As he gets past yes. two defenders, I mean. Just, oh, he slips. Just Looking for a call. We'll, would not get the call there. Good defense there by Marcus, and we're back to the play. Lloyd clears it out to the mid to midfield, and Pondeca waiting. Will not get the ball though, but 
Gall tries to head it back to him. Now Wheeler tries to head it back to him, but now Hebron back on the counter. Header party going on so far. Is Hebron back on the counter? Uh, Mark is there to clear it out, and Hebron will get will get back possession as Beck will be ready to pass it in. One of Hebron's star players for their team. And not a good pass there by Beck as now Castro with the ball. Reeler tries to jump it up. And Pondeca ready to make a play. But just shot out by two Hebron defenders. Just trying to prevent him from doing any havoc. As number eight, Meyer tries to hit it back. But Marcus with the ball here. As Evans clears it out. Can't quite see what's going on here, but it appears to be Marcus Ball on the counter. Rebel with the ball cleared out by Meyer. And it actually will appear to be appear to be Hebron Ball. Great start from both teams, Marcus and Hebron, both yeah. doing very well on the offensive end. Well, more on the defensive end than the offensive end since right. none of them have scored yet. But Right. But Marcus has caused opportunities. He's caused chances so far. Uh, but Hebron looks to be more on the aggressive side. They, they seem like they learned their lessons from the first half and now are pushing more on the counterattack. But nonetheless here, Marcus with the ball here. Number 15, uh, Procas Procassi here. Dishes it off to Woody Pondeca, the the brother of Tomas Pondeca. As Gall dishes it over to Castro, but just knocked away there. Solder there. Back to Evans. Oh, bad Great turnover counter. here. This can be a huge counterattack opportunity for Hebron as as Matthews has the ball. Dishes it off to to Eleven. Just. John Williams just misses the target here. Almost got Hebron on the board here as we look back on the replay. Bad turn over there by Marcus there as John Williams tried to get it on net. Looked to be knocked, be, looked to be deflected by the goaltender. Refs didn't see it that way, and it will be now Marcus' possession here as Lloyd looks to clear it off. Yeah, that's Hebron's first shot on net the whole game. Good header there as Castro will now try to set up the Marcus counter. Woody, uh, Woody Pendeca there. Back to Evans. Shoots it over to the midfield as Hebron will now look to start the counterattack as Prather. Oh, yeah, ooh, missed there by Procassi. It looked, it looked like he had it but just missed it. But nonetheless, good defensive play there to, to halt the counter. And it will be Marcus Ball. Or excuse me, Hebron ball. Two great opportunities by Hebron, yet could not, could not, could not bury it. But there's a here's another good opportunity for them to get something going. As Hebron clears it up the field, it's on the box. Number six, Reeler, Mason, uh, Porter Reeler. Hebron back on the counter. Actually, Marcus back on the counter as Gall with the ball. Looking to create some space, some space. Oh, as Thomas Tom, uh, Pondeca looked to be tripped up. Playing the advantage here as Hebron will clear it out. Pondeca still on the ground. He looks hurt. Hasn't gotten up. Gall and the trainers are back, are on the field. We have some, um, a moment here. Uh, let's talk about Marcus and Hebron, the speed and the agility of both teams. I mean, Marcus, they've been able to go up and down the field multiple, multiple times. Right, same with Marcus. But it seems to be if Pondeca, Pondeca looks hurt, if they, if they lose him for the rest of the game, that's a big loss for them as he's been their main playmaker the whole game. It looks to be, looks to be in good shape. 
walking off on his own power with low with a limp. Crowd giving respect to him. There's still a, his brother Woody Pundeka, the defender on back on the field, but Tomas looks to be hurt getting off the pitch. And looks like Marcus will use a sub here. Not quite sure who it is, but nonetheless, there's a sub on the field as now Gall waiting for the ref's whistle to get going. 32 minutes left in the second half. See how Marcus does without their main playmaker as Pun Woody Pondeca just misses the ball here as Bowie looks to make a good counterattack effort, but Marcus halts that. Nowhere, no siree. As now Mark Hebron back on the counter. Marcus looking a little... A little, a little nervous. They've seen to turn the ball over a little bit into the second half. As Hebron, number 10, Max Carrion, looks to dish it out. Knowing that uh, Pendeka is out of the game uh, for right now, this this is a this is a he, this is a prime chance for Hebron to get to get some points on the board. Huge opportunity for Hebron right now. Let's see. And their defense can, I guess they can they can take a little rest. They're knowing their play, their Marcus's play, main playmaker is not on the field. Pondeka seems to be okay though, as he will be subbed back on. Oh uh, man, for uh, mm -mm -mm. for Reeler, yeah, Pondeka back on the field. Reeler out. Uh, excuse me, Noah Reeler out. Marcus throw in. Gall on back, Gall on the ball. Hebron that back on the counter. And you can see, I believe Max Carrion trying to go for it, but Solder just knocks it out. Excuse me, not not Carrion, John Williams. As he's ready to throw it, commit this throw in. We'll dish it off to Braden Beck. On field camera, getting some nice, get nice close-up action. Throw it into the box. Bunch of marauders are waiting. Pierce, I believe Hebron was trying to call for a handball there, but will not get the call there. The refs not believing them at all. Oh, still nonetheless, Hebron back on the counter. And miscommunication there will lead to a haltage of that. With around 29, 20, 20, 40 left, 29, 40s left in the second half. Marcus back on the attack. Pondeca just straight off the bench came on. And good defensive play there by Lucas George. And I believe it will be Hebron Ball. Yes, it will be Hebron Ball. Pondeca not been hasn't been very effective here the second half, has he? Not at all. Yet yet he has been playing very, very good. I mean, just like how Stephen A says, that's a bad man. man. And As that's one thing for sure with Pondeca. Hoffman dishes it out. Pondeca, the other Pondeca dish ready to head it back in as Marcus looked to be on the counter, but just halted as they're playing extremely aggressive Great here. Move. And now Marcus is officially back on the counter. Castro dishes it off to another Marauder. They're waiting, but Lucas there to just get ready to clear it out. Great defense by Hebron. Good, de yeah, especially especially since off off the Marcus speedy counterattack. As Procassi there battling for the ball, and will win that battle. Castro there back to Procassi, running backwards here, running away from the goal as Evans clears it back downfield, and. And looks like Pondeca had a chance there, but just couldn't get it. By looking at both of these teams, as each time that Marcus gets down the field, he gets close to the to the destination, Ooh. or like you say, the oven with right. the pie. Right. Um, Hebron has been able to at least double team or isolate one player. And that is that is Pondeca. Pondeca, they've been, they've shut down Pondeca so far. Granted, there's still a lot of time left, but. They've seen they've seen to find find out his weaknesses here, as Gall will be th committing the throw in. Trying to find an open man, can't find one, as he finds 
Uh, number 26 is going back on the ball. Back to Reeler, trying to make a play. Lucas George defending, and it will be Hebron ball again. Hebron playing some really good defense there in their own zone there. Preventing, preventing great Marcus scoring opportunities here. As Hoffman will look to clear it off. And boots it away to a crowded party. Hebron back on the ball. Ooh, good touch there by number eight, Meyer. As Hebron's now streaking up the field, forcing Evans to clear the ball out of bounds. It'll be Hebron ball. Lucas George ready to make the pass in. Can't quite see where he is now. Ooh, throws it into the box. Trying to get aggressive here as Pondeca, Woody Pondeca heads it out of bounds. Still Hebron ball though. Good throwing, but I would say if he either rolls it in, then they could Hebron could have set up a better play for but I, someone else. I do like this aggressiveness as he throws it back in the box again as Marcus heads it off away. And I believe Meyer tried to cause a chance there. But Marcus not having any of it and stifles them. But Hebron back on the counterattack. Pondeca heads it off. It's another Marauder. And Gall back on the ball again. Miscommunication there leads to another Hebron Hog getting the ball. And oh, actually, it appears to be a foul on Hebron. Marcus awarded the free kick. Ooh, back all the way over there. Yeah, as Marcus kicked that ball over to one of the attackers, you could clearly see the physicality of Hebron. Right, Hebron's starting to impose their will here in the second half as we say that as they're back on the counterattack trying to make a play, but this Marcus Marauder defense has stifled them every turn or, or, or on most turns as Pondeca back on the ball. Good lead pass to Reeler as he has a bunch of open space, but Lucas will catch up to him and that will lead to a Marcus corner, attack, uh, corner chance. Great defense being oh. able to get right next to him and Stop that free kick. But Stop how, that kick. But how about that pass by Pondeca to a wide open reeler with a bunch of space? Very good pass. Just couldn't, just could not run Lucas George, but it will it will lead to a corner of chance. And we see P Pondeca looking to be in the box here, trying to set up a, trying to get his team on the board. As Marcus will look to get, as Marcus will look to be up one nil after this is chance, has swings it in. Knocked away by Hoffman. Good play there. Great as block. It, but Marcus back on the counter. Number 15, Procrasti there. As Reeler trying to find the ball, finds it eventually. Marcus Marotta, Reeler back. Reeler has the ball again. Back to Castro to another open Marauder. And just not a good shot there. I don't know what. I don't know what that. what he was trying to do there. Trying to swing it in. Not too sure. But nonetheless, it leads to a, another Hebron clear. Yeah, that was not a good shot possession. Not at all. Especially since he could have been a little bit more patient with it and waited for his teammates to get back. But nonetheless, it's now Hebron's ball. Kicks it off to a waiting party down there in Hebron. Cleared off by Marauder. Knocked by Matthews. And I believe, no, no, it's carry on, excuse me. But Castro dishes it off to... Can't see the number there, but it's a Marauder. Pondeca back on the ball. Gall, ooh, with a tra with a blazing Hebron defender on him, just gets the pass off. Back to Pondeca, back to the P Woody Pondeca. Back to Evans. To Reeler. Now back to, uh, back to Roby. Roby with the ball, actually not Roby, excuse me. It will be, it'll be Atkinson with the ball again. Atkinson to the, to W Pondeca. Great Gall. passing by the Marauders. Gall, Ooh, yeah, good, move. good move there. Gall back on the ball. Pondeca, Maraca, uh, Maracas, Mar Marauders back. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Solder looking, oh, good uh, defensive play by Hebron. But Mara the Marauders look 
to be trying to do in, in some nice intricate passing here. Not trying to get much long ball opportunity, just trying to beat Hebron mentally. But as another he another turnover, Matthews has a chance, just kind of just shoots it on net, not really patient at all as Lloyd makes the easy save. Let's talk about that, that one possession with the Marauders. As you saw with them um, giving it to the midfielder, back to the um, attacker, uh, just going back and forth and back and forth with that, that three-player. As Mar as Mar oh, Mar Marcus has play. a chance. Can 26 get there? 26, 26 cannot get there in time. Ooh, another missed opportunity there. But you were, uh, you were saying about them passing off to the midfield a lot. Yeah, yeah. As you saw with that, uh, before this possession, uh, they passed the midfielder a lot just for safety. As you saw, Hebron, Hebron trying to f to defend and make a counter with um, Marcus's playing. But uh, the Hebron defense did eventually hold up as Hoffman clears it out with around 20, 21 minutes and 30 seconds left in the game. Pondeka tries to head it off. Reeler with the header. And Pondeka back on the ball. Tries to find the open man. Does with Castro. Dishes it off to Gall. Oh, hard foul there by number number seven, Alex Gulsola. Gul 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 Being very, very aggressive there, trying to get the ball, but ended up knocking him down at the same time. As Nick Rebella saw him back on the field. Gall trying to find the open man. Does with Castro. Knocked out of bounds by the Hebrew defender as Gall will yet throw, again, throw, to, throw it in yet again. Pondeka back on the ball, trying to make a move, trying to he spins himself out. But the Woody Pondeka back on the field. Back on the ball to Pondeka, the Pondeka Pondeka tri, uh, duo as Matthew Hoffman makes another, good, another clutch shave. Matthew Hoffman dishes it out, headed over. Marcus Marcus seems to be running a very aggressive defense here. Hebron oh, Bench ooh. not happy with something there. They are going ballistic. Nonetheless, Pondeka back on the ball. Back to 26. Trying to make a play. And he does. Gets past Braden Beck. Or did get past Braden Beck for a little bit. But Braden Beck will knock it out of bounds. And it will be an, another Mar Marcus cor uh, Corners chance. Be interesting to see if Marcus can get on the board with this uh, corner chance they have right now. Absolutely. As it as the past two attempts, they've gotten really, really close. With a great duo of the Pendecas, the Pendeca brothers. I mean, they're just feeding off Swings of each other. Swings it in the box. Can he head it in? It is it's in. A goal. Ra Gavin Gall gets Marcus on the board, puts the pie in the oven, and it is one nothing. Maraca, uh, Marcus Marauders ahead. Let's see this amazing goal here as as Gall heads it in. Hoffman with left with no chance as he's hung out to dry. Hoffman not pleased with himself as it's now Marcus 1, Heber nothing with 19 minutes and 40 seconds left in the game. Wow. We figured eventually they would, they would get on the board here, and now they have as Gall has been super aggressive all night, and he's now been rewarded. Absolutely. Just with patience and just aggressiveness. A massive aggressiveness. And now Hebron will look to try to even up the score here. The assist would go to Castro. Hebron now with a lot of momentum as Gall, the latest goal scorer, dishes it off to Castro. The man with the latest assist. Back to Wheeler. Pondeka just couldn't get a foot on it, and oh, Hoffman will be there to retrieve it. Hoffman. You can't really blame Hoffman on that last goal. He did everything he could. Try to bail out this defense, and sometimes it's your best just isn't enough as he clears it out with 19 minutes left in the second half. Pondeka looking to get the ball. Gall with an aggressive play there as he Hebron defender will swing it in, but it will be cleared out. Castro trying to make a play will not get there. Pondeka heads it back to back to Evans. Twenty six with the with the chance. Braden Beck on him. No foul will be called. And if we go on that last chance there, number twenty six. We don't know who his name is, but 
his his aggressiveness on that last on that possession led to the corner, which then led to the goal. As Hebron looks to be trying to get on the board here, as they swing it in, uh, appears to be Gugusela with the chance, just misses wide. Not a good shot there. Not a good shot. Not Especially, at all. Not at all. You have to be patient with this game. Especially since you have a little under 18, a little over 18 minutes left. That's still a little bit of time to do something. And he was just too too aggressive, too antsy to get the shot off. And it will cost Hebron a possession as Lloyd will be ready to clear it out. What a boot there. And heads, Hebron heads it over. to Gusela, and Lloyd will be there to make the easy routine save. Nothing too scary. It's Evans there. Get the ball, clears it back over to Lloyd. Marcus still being very aggressive here. Aren't They aren't parking the bus at all. As they, as we say like that, and Pondeca is on the a chance, and good, good defense. Will they get awarded with a foul? Wow, no foul call there. Uh, Pondeca and the crowd is not happy with that one, but nonetheless, it'll be Hebron ball as they're on the counter, as they were on the counter, but turned it over. Pondeca creating more, more, and more opportunities. Man, he's wearing down this defense. Absolutely. That as Pendeka is rolling, Hebron slowly looking like it's molasses. Right. They are slowing down a bit as goal 26 try to create a chance there for Castro. It just wasn't working. Hoffman there to ready to clear the ball out. Yep. Trying to find the open man. One of the three captains on the team. As Gall heads it over back to uh back to carry on. Good counter. Twenty six off to Gall. Gall will try to swing it over to Pondeca. Beats the defender. Now he's in open space. Can he make the most of it? Oh, good Ooh. save by Hoffman. Almost looked like it was going to go in the back of the net. Pondeca stifled three times. Almost had a good go Almost had a goal there. But Hoffman with the big mitts to get it up there. As we see, Pondeca just beats Lane. Hoffman gets the two hands up and catches it. Good play by Hoffman. 26 there, back to create a chance. Cleared out by the Hebron defender. Soldier there heads it back to a waiting uh, Rebel. Rebel there to create a chance. Thought it, Hebron defender thought it was a handball. Will not get the call as Rebel brings it up field. Swings it over to an open Pondeca as that chance is shut down. Hoffman when I was trying to set up a play with Oh, with just, with just over 15 minutes left in the game. 26 heads it over to Pondeca. Not a good first touch there, but nonetheless, it will be Hebron Ball as Rebel knocks it out of bounds. Braden Beck. Braden Beck. Ready to throw it in here. With this team down one goal in a game they really can't afford to lose in this as playoffs for district start to start to roll in. Absolutely. And depending on what Louisville does here tonight or does tonight in their game, they can be looking at fifth uh fifth seed right now. That's pretty scary. Yeah, it's a, it's especially scary since there's about four games left in, in the regular season. And only then you four, get the playoffs. Yeah, only four games left to secure that final spot. As Hebron is looking to look, looking to lock down that fourth seed or eventually move up to the third seed, as they are in the uh, on the attack here, trying to create a chance, trying to get on the board here. As Ma as Matthews won't get a shot off, Pondeca clears it away. Uh, appears to be Gall trying to chase after it, but will not get there. Excuse me, not Pondeca. It will be Hefferman trying to get chase it, but. Braden back here, ready to toss it in the box. I mean, for Hebron with all these seniors, I mean, it's a. Ooh. I mean, they want to get in the playoffs. They really do. They want to go in deep in the playoffs. As Lloyd makes another good save, 
preventing another Hebron opportunity. With just over 13 minutes and 25 seconds left. This could be tight. This could be really tight. As Mark is back on the counter, Pondeka with the ball here, try to, trying to get himself on the board here. Trying to cross a good nutmeg by Pondeka. Swings it over to Gall, and he just can't put it on net, but we'll get the ball back. Gall, can he get a chance? Will he get the foul call? No, he will not. These refs have been pretty interesting tonight, but nonetheless, it'll be here. Uh, excuse me, Marcus Ball as they're back on the attack. Solder back. Now back to Evans. Almost another Mar almost another Marauder goal there. Great nutmeg by great Pandeka. Yeah, great move there. Pandeka has been putting these defenders on skates the whole night. Man, if he can, if he He's just trying to get his the goal that he deserves at this point. Like he's been making all the plays for his team. As Hebron trying to start attack here with not much time left. We'll get past the defender. Swing it over to Matthews. As number seven, Gusola trying to get back to it, but will not get there in time. As Lloyd makes another save. A great save by Lloyd. And just Hebron is just. They're trying to make these plays from way outside, and they're not going in to stuff it in. Right. Hebron's trying to do too many long ball tactics here instead of instead of doing what Mar Marcus is doing and doing these intricate passing. They're trying to they're trying to get big plays in big chunks, and it's just not working out tonight. But they have they've had caught, uh, gotten a few opportunities as Meyer dribbles off the field. Not a good shot there, or was it supposed to be a shot? We're not we don't know. Nonetheless, Lloyd comes down with a save. As he clears it out. <coughs> Marauders looking to get back on the counter. And Gall being very aggressive will force Hebron to knock it out of bounds. Not not Gall, excuse me, Hefferman. As we braid him back there. Trying to make a play. Trying to find where the ball is. As Gall found it. Looking for the open man. Dish it off to Hefferman. Back to Solder. Ooh. Back to Gall. Back to Hefferman. Good move by Hefferman to get open. Back to Woody Pondeca. Back to Myers. Or Meyer. Back to back to Hefferman. Back to 26. Or, sorry, Rebel. Hoffman there making a, save. making a good save. Hoffman is trying to keep his team in the game as much as he can. But his, his attacking unit needs to help him out as Mark is back on the counterattack. Pondeka with a long strike just off the top crossbar. Still has not found the back of the net yet. But that was almost the dagger there for Marcus. So close, yeah, so far. Set, so, so close. Hebron can breathe a sigh of relief as their game, as they, they still, they're still in this game. It was Matthews ready to try to make a play. Still, oh, it was ruled off sides there by Hebr uh, for Hebron. No wonder the defenders were looking a little, or not, excuse me. Or, excuse me, probably was a foul. But nonetheless, it will be Marcus Ball as Woody Pondeka there to take the free kick. Soldier there. Back on the ball. As Kit Meyer tried to create a def defensive play there. Even trying to clear it out. Marcus still being very aggressive here. Trying to get the second, trying to get the second call. And that will be... A very rough call there. He's given a yellow, rightfully so. That is Hebron's second yellow of the night as Caleb Meyer has been dished out a yellow here in the late stages of the game. Not a good foul there to give up. Not, not, a, not a good move either. I mean, these Marcus just wants this game more than Hebron does. Yeah. Hebron's now getting frustrated. They're losing their stamina really fast. They're shooting goals from way, way outside. Bad shots. 
and all the confidence is going to the home team. Right, as Mar Marcus here ready to set up a free kick opportunity. I just don't know what that foul, what he was thinking there as he swings it into the box. Can Marcus get another chance at it? They will not, but Hebron will clear it out. Actually, they won't clear it out as Pondeka will get a foot on it, and Gall is racing to it. Rebel, excuse me, Rebel, but he won't get there in time as it will be Hebron ball. Yeah, as we said, Marcus wants this game with eight minutes and with almost eight minutes left on the clock. Marcus just wants this game more than Hebron does. They are hungry. This, this is this is what the first place team in district looks like. Hungry as ever. Especially off a of, off a of loss here at home field. Exactly. I mean after losing to Irving Nimitz, I mean one of the one of the great teams in in the league right now with um with Ooh, high school Pondeca. soccer. Put his defender on skates. Put his defender on skates yet again. Almost lost the ball, though. As he's looking for an opportunity. Just no one no one home. As Matthew, uh, Hoffman there to get the ball with a little over eight minutes left in the match. Gall knocks it out of bounds. It'll be Hebron Ball as Prather, excuse me, not Prather, Matthews is after it. Hebron look to looking to make an opportunity as Braden Beck will be will be passing it in. Mark is making another substitute. It appears Fres Fortino is bat is in the game. Don't know who he was subbed off for, but nonetheless, West Fortino has entered the match. Pondeca heads it heads heads it away. Now his brother on the ball loses it. Hebron with an opportunity here, but gets pickpocketed. By Reeler. Smark is trying to get another, trying to get a second goal here to end, to ice the game. It's number 15, Brantley. We'll, we'll dish it in. Excuse me, not Brantley. will be number five, Lucas George, one of the captains of the Hebron team. With seven minutes left, Marcus heads it away. Lucas there to be back on the ball. But Marcus back on the counter as number six Reeler back on it. Now Hebron back on its own counter attack. But now Re Rebel knocks it out of bounds. And it will be Brantley to get to throw in the ball. Brantley seems to be hurt a bit, yeah. Seems his arm is not not in good not feeling good right now as there will be a timeout on the field. Yeah, but what? like we said with Marcus, I mean Losing to Irving Nimitz five to two, they really want this win. They really do. As there's now six around six twenty six twenty five left on the clock here, he been trying to trying to scare Broff with a with a draw here. Pass it off to their goalie, Matthew Hoffman. Keep it low on the ground, and Gall back on the ball here. As can oh good save there. Oh no, never. Wow, late call there as Hefferman could not keep it inbounds. Just run out of gas there at the last second. Hebert still with some time to get some to, to get a point on the board here. But not right now as they're back on defense. Now they're back on offense as Marcus turns it over. Gall clears it. Good boot there to clear it off. Bondeca challenging. Five minutes left, five five thirty left on the clock. It is Mar Marcus one, Hebron nothing. Marcus heads it off, and will not get there in time. Their co Hebron coach trying to speed their speed up their attack here with the trying to get him the ball pretty fast. Nonetheless, Marcus defends it off very well. Now they're back on the counter attack. And it will be Hefferman in open space. Can he get the goal here? No, he will not. He will lose the ball here. Good defense there by Braden Beck to prevent the chance. And he will clear it out of bounds. One thing for sure that Hebron must do after this game is watch this game on YouTube over and over again and see the difference between them and Marcus. Right. On They, they, should, they should watch this game on LSC AV Productions here on YouTube as – as with around 4.30 left on the clock. Rebel with a nice move to get past two defenders. Get past, almost gets past three. Gets the ball back. He can be looking at an opportunity. I don't know what that was, but he lost the ball there. 
as now Hebron back on the counter. And uh, Gulusolo cannot get, couldn't get his foot on the ball and will be out of bounds. Marcus Ball here, call but the pass in. It was almost, almost a great opportunity, but he just slipped over himself. Right. As Gall will be back. Oh, Gall back in a scoring chance opportunity land. As Pondeca, can he bury the No, it will be a it will be a foul. Will they give him a shot? With well, three three fifty seven left on the clock. Will they give him a penalty shot? The ref's trying to let's look back on his opportunity as Gall with another good opportunity. Braden uh, no, excuse me, not Braden back. Caleb, Caleb Meyer just knocks him from behind. Not a good play there as Pondeca has a chance to effectively ice the game here. Pondeca, Hoffman, who's going to win? This is an epic matchup. That they, Hoffman has gotten the best of him tonight, but let's see if Pondeca can slam, slam the oven shut, bake this pie. Taking a moment to get a breather here. Scoping out his surroundings. Taking it all in. He has a chance to effectively win the game for Marcus here tonight. And if they do win, it will be a good good win against a rival. Right. No pressure. No pressure here. <laughs> <laughs> but honestly, I think that was just a – it wasn't a good foul not a good to give. Not a good foul there by Meyer to give up. Good play there by, by Gall and, My and Pondeca to get in position to effectively cause it. Absolutely. They're just waiting on the refs' whistle here. And speaking of the refs, the refs have been a little bit of up and down on both sides. Oh yeah, the Marcus crowd especially thinks that there should have been more fouls called, but they 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 get the right call here, rightly giving Pondeca a penalty shot as he was fouled within the box. As Pondeca will take the shot, will run up to it, and he will bury it, and that will effectively end this game here, Pondeca. And with three minutes and 55 seconds left, makes it Hebron, makes it Marcus two, Hebron nothing. As we look back on this penalty shot, all the confidence, Hoffman went the wrong way, knows what he did, and it was buried bottom shelf where Mama hides the cookies. Now it is two nothing, Marcus, and this looks effectively over for Hebron. Yeah, because if you take a look at that replay, if we're able to get that replay up again, if you take a look at that replay, Pendeka, he go he he goes, and before he even kicks the ball, he kind of does a little stutter step with his feet. Makes the makes the makes the Hoffman think, and in fact, I bet it worked because now they're up two nil with 3:55 left. Hebron has to come up with something here, something fast with three Some, minutes 55 seconds left. Got to come up with a lightning quick counterattack here, as they now spread the field open. Marcus playing with house money at this point now. But Pondeca finally gets on the board here. As his brother Woody Pondeca will be subbed off for number for Chancy for Chancy Davis. Good job by Woody Pondeca this whole entire series. This whole game, he's been the man of the match, causing opportunity after opportunity. Couldn't find his goal there, but he's right rightfully rewarded with a penalty shot after causing a after getting in position to cause a chance, also with uh, with uh, with Gavin Gall there with a good with a good pass in the box, as now Hebron looks to be facing a deficit they may they may not be able to come back from. Absolutely, I mean it, it's it's funny how how Marcus has these dynamic duos in every sport, right? Apparently. In basketball, football, and now soccer with the with Gall and Pendeka, as Hebron will effectively try to play long ball tactics here. And it is not going so well for them so far as they turn the ball over. Not something they want to do here. Be interesting to see if Marcus will be aggressive here and try to get the third goal. Try to put some salt in the wound here or just play back, play relaxed. Don't try to turn the ball over. Looks like they're trying to be really aggressive here. So Marcus will get the ball back in the middle of the park. As Hefferman back on the ball. Can he make a move to get past? He will get, he'll dish it off to Reeler. He'll try to get past number 10 of Hebron as he'll kick it out of bounds. Smart play there at this point. Don't try to be, don't try to be cool with it. Just prevent the opportunity. Yeah, sometimes you just don't need to be creative. You just got to get the ball in the goal. Right, as goal. 
waning minutes of the game, starting to tick down with 2.50 left on the clock. And it appears to be number 22, Garrett Carves, doing the pass in here for tonight, his first tonight. And he'll dish it into the box, looking for another goal. Will they get it? No, Hoffman there to save it. You know, despite giving up two goals, Hoffman's been on his game here tonight. It's, this loss will not fall on him. Not at all. Absolutely. Like, he's he's done his best he could with 12, with 13 saves. Still won't pro will probably not be enough as Marcus back on the counter with Hefferman trying to put his defender in a blender. I mean, just think, 13 saves and they've only scored twice. I mean, that's really good. That's a good, that's a, that's, that's a good performance on any for anybody. As Hebron's attacking, uh, as, as attacking and has let him down. Hebron will turn the ball over again, getting very frustrated. Marcus will be passing it in here. Um, with a, with 150 left on the clock, this looks about over unless Hebron can magically sprout another offensive attack here. The only way Hebron's going to win is if they get deep into into the goalkeeper's goodie bag. Right. They, and scores the goal. They they got to they gotta hope for a miracle here, try to get... One, two, three passing here right now. Try to get it in as effectively as they can. As Lucas George will bring it up the field. See, and as you see, as Lucas George is, is running up the field, there's no one there to pass. No one there to help him as the ball falls into the stands to nobody. Casper there with a free ball now. As the ball boy will give it off to Lucas. Who will look to try to give his team a chance here to get a goal in. At least salvage a goal differential as he'll throw it in. Not a strong pass there as Marcus will take advantage and get the ball out. At least I thought, but then they get they keep the ball in and Marcus gets it out, clears it out with about 55 seconds left on the clock. This looks to be about over. <coughs> and, and Hoffman with the ball now. Nothing much he can do now as he'll clear it out to awaiting Marcus defender. Number 23, Rebel. Number 8 for Marcus. Ch Chancey Davis clears it out with Pondeca. They're waiting for him. Waiting for the ball. Can he get a second of the night here in the waiting seconds of the game? As he'll dish it in and Hoffman is there to save the goal. Or to, to prevent the third goal of the night. 19 seconds left. 18, 17. This looks about to be over. What a good match for Marcus here tonight. As Pondeca, we get a replay of Pondeca trying to dish it off to Reeler. Just hopping there waiting for it as the waiting seconds will tick down. And Mar Marcus will seal up a win here tonight against district rival Hebron. 2 0. The Marauders come out victorious on home field. Very, very one sided game in, in, my, in our opinion. Absolutely. Great. But great defense altogether by, by Hoffman. I mean, each time, whether it's been Pendeca, whether it's been any other Marcus Marauder. They, he has just been on point every single time. He did his hardest, but his hardest was not enough. As we, as we wrap up the game here, Marcus Marauders come out with a victory, two nothing over the Hebron Hawks. You've been watching LSE soccer here on LSE AV Productions. I, I'm Aiden Herring, and I'm Anthony Council. And with that, so long, folks.